In this video, I'm gonna do the sorting of the pages. So, first of all, I want to get from admin footer this jQuery link and cut it, and I'm gonna paste it in the header because I'm gonna be using jQuery in views and they get rendered before the footer, so I need to have it here. And now in pages EJS, I need to modify this table a bit the TRs, the tests which are going to be sortable and for the sorting functionality I'm going to use jQuery UI sortable so I need to get that jQuery UI so I'm just going to Google for it here okay and this this one is fine so just copy the source and I'm going to have that script here so, so actually source is there, okay, so that looks good. And now inside of the table, each item you want to be sortable needs to have an ID that goes like so, ID equals and ID underscore and an ID. Okay, and I'm going to have here the ID of the page, so let me just get the code for that because the snippet doesn't work in here for me for some reason so this is gonna be page dot underscore id and i'm also gonna give each tr a class of its lug so just copy this and paste here and this is gonna be slug and i'm doing that because i don't want the home tr to be sortable so I'm gonna give this TR here a class of home as well. Okay, so now if I refresh here, could not find a match and close tag. Oh, I'm missing a greater than here. Okay, so if I inspect this now, So this TR has a class of home and about us, the next one, and services, so that's fine. And they have their respective IDs as well, so that's all good. So after the jQuery UI, I'm going to have another set of script tags. And I'm going to select the T body. So you need to select the body and not the table if you want the TRs to be sortable and I'm gonna say here sortable and I'm gonna pass an object as the argument and now here I'm gonna say items and I'm gonna say which items I don't want to be sortable so that that's gonna be TRs with class of home okay and I'm also gonna say Placeholder here, and this is going to be a CSS class that is used to mark the drop point. I'm going to say here UI state dash highlight, and you're going to see what I mean in a minute. And finally, update and have a function here. Just format that a bit. So, on update, I'm going to get the IDs. So, I'm going to say var IDs is going to be equal to, and I'm going to copy and paste that. And now I'm going to pass a string serialize as the argument. So I'm going to get the IDs serialized. And the URL I need as well. And the URL is going to be slash admin slash pages slash add dash add reorder. That is dash page. And finally, I'm going to have an Ajax call here. So it's going to be a post. And I'm going to pass the URL and the IDs. Okay, so if I refresh again, let's see, and I am able to drag and drop this, and I can't home for this one here. So that's working as expected. So now in admin pages, I need to create that post three order pages route. So I'm just going to copy this and down here paste that and I'm gonna say here post reorder pages 
and there's gonna be a post request and here I'm gonna say slash reorder dash pages and so let's see just what I get in rack body so I'm just gonna console log rack dot body here and refresh so now if I reorder this and I don't get anything. Let's see, I have a bit of a problem. Okay, it's page and not pages. So here it's supposed to be pages. Now it should be fine. And here it is. So I have this object with a key ID and square brackets and an array of IDs. So that's good. So I'm gonna say here that var ids is equal to rec dot body and I can say now for example id like so this isn't gonna work because of the square brackets it needs to be a string so I'm gonna have square brackets here and this is gonna be a string id and square brackets like so and now I'm gonna loop through the IDs and update the sorting so I'm gonna have a variable here called count which I'm gonna initialize to 0 and I'm gonna say 4 so for var i 0 i less than ID's length i++ plus plus, that's all good just format this a bit control alt f in admins I'm gonna say in here that var id is equal to ids with the key of i and count plus plus. So I want to increment the count by one for each instance in the loop. And in here I'm gonna say page and find by id and pass the id in here and have a callback air and page and then here I'm gonna say page sorting is equal to count and page save now and pass a callback in here with error in case there is an error so I'm gonna say here if air return console log air and just format all this like so and okay let's see what happens now so if I refresh this and let's just check the pages here so sorting 0 for home and 100 for about us and services and if I do this for example and look here let's see what happens they're both two so why is this happening why isn't one one and the other two and that's because node is asynchronous as opposed to being synchronous so this is it's not going to run one loop the loop one time and then the second and so on is just going to happen all at once once again because node is asynchronous in essence so to remedy this I'm gonna wrap this part in a closure so I'm gonna open braces here and have a function in which I'll pass the count and I'm gonna cut and paste that closing function here and open braces here and say count okay and now it should work so let me just see okay so if I refresh again and do this there are no errors let's refresh here and now it's one and two so services is one and about us is two and if I do this and I refresh I can see it stays in place and let's check now so about us is 2 now and if I refresh about us is 1 and services is 2 so that works okay so if you ever encounter 
a weird problem it's because node is asynchronous so if this was let's say C sharp or PHP then this would work fine just like so but in node no because it's asynchronous okay so that's it for the functionality I just wanna add a style here two styles actually for the front end and the admin so I'm gonna have a style here and just copy and paste that actually and this one is gonna be admin style and in here I'm gonna say TR not actually just like so home I want to to have cursor as pointer and actually I should give this uh, TR this table actually a specific class so it doesn't get applied to every table so sorting I'll give it and I'm gonna say here sorting tr not home cursor pointer that's fine and that ui dash state dash highlight let me just find it and copy it so I don't need to write that it's a bit of a hassle copy that and paste that here and I'm gonna say here border one pixel dashed and ccc okay and to include this in the admin header so I'm gonna include it up here I'm gonna have a link here and because I set this public folder to serve static files I usually don't need to specify the public folder so uh, and this should be in a CSS folder actually so just create that folder and drag that in there so it should be enough to say just slash CSS slash admin style dot CSS and if I refresh this now it works and you can see that border now being applied to the drop point so that's the point of that placeholder okay just refresh this so about there should be one in services too the sorting that is and it is so okay that's it for this video see you in the next